There's a lot of scumbags around the world and here at home, but there can only be one scumbag that wins the Humanist Report's Scumbag of 2019 title. I nominated four individuals. These are my nominations. The first is Donald J. Trump, who I really don't think I have to explain. And this year alone, think of all of the things that he's managed to do. He shut down the government for almost three weeks, essentially because he threw a prolonged temper tantrum because he wanted funding for his border wall that he said Mexico would pay for. He was literally minutes away from bombing Iran. He single-handedly catalyzed an ethnic cleansing of the Kurds in northern Syria. He continues to lock babies in cages. He cut food stamps and announced another cut to food stamps. He's expanding the U.S. empire, increased drone strikes, continues to kill civilians around the world. His administration is supporting a lawsuit that would overrule the ACA's protection for people with pre-existing conditions. This individual is obviously an unhinged scumbag, and he really is, I think, worthy of this title, but that's just one of my nominations. My second nomination is Mitch McConnell. Now, Donald Trump wouldn't be nearly as effective if it weren't for Mitch McConnell, who is helping him achieve all of this. Mitch McConnell is someone who is perhaps the biggest ghoul in the country because he has the same political ideology as Donald Trump, but he's actually effective at accomplishing what he wants to accomplish, and that is ruin the country and the planet. He stole a Supreme Court seat from Democrats. On top of that, he is helping Donald Trump to stack the federal judiciary. So when you go beyond Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh, he has helped make Donald Trump one of the most successful presidents when it comes to nominating federal judges. And on top of that, Mitch McConnell is blocking almost every single bill that comes to the Senate, essentially not allowing democracy to take place. Bills that would possibly even pass the Republican-controlled Senate. I mean, I don't know what else to say. This individual is a horrible, morally reprehensible, morally bankrupt human being. And I absolutely believe he is worthy of this title. Now, my third nominee is Stephen Miller, who we all suspected was a white nationalist and white supremacist because, you know, <laughs> look at him. He helped craft Donald Trump's Muslim ban with Steve Bannon, I believe. On top of that, he helped craft the family separation policy, the zero tolerance at the border policy that led to families being separated. And leaked emails recently confirmed that he does in fact have an affinity for white nationalism. So the fact that someone like him is able to have power and hang on to power and hasn't resigned, that makes him a scumbag because white supremacy should be nowhere near power and the fact that he is in a place of power and has a lot of influence over policy... I mean, that just makes him dangerous and makes him a scumbag. Now, my final nominee is Boris Johnson, the Trump of the UK, who essentially ran an election on getting Brexit done. And he made it very clear that he's going to allow the NHS to be a bargaining chip with the United States. So he's going to open it up, in other words, to more privatization. And he's going to undo the progress that they made in the UK, and something that we're trying to achieve here. I mean, on top of that, he has a pass of, you know, racism and bigotry and xenophobia and homophobia. This individual is a far-right figure like Donald Trump, perhaps not as far to the right as Donald Trump, nonetheless still problematic, and he's just a bad person overall, and I think that he's worthy of this title. But those are my nominations. You guys ultimately get the final say. And here are the results. So on Patreon, Donald Trump received 14% of the vote. Mitch McConnell received 57% of the vote. Stephen Miller and Boris Johnson tied in third with 15%. Now on YouTube, Donald Trump had 27%. Mitch McConnell had 56%. Stephen Miller had 7%. And Boris Johnson had 10%. And when it comes to our Twitter audience, Donald Trump had 31% of the vote, Mitch McConnell had 40% of the vote, Stephen Miller had 11% of the vote, and Boris Johnson garnered 18% of the vote. Now, when you look at the total results across all three platforms, in fourth place is Stephen Miller, in third place is Boris Johnson, 
and it came down to Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell. But ultimately, the ultimate ghoul and scumbag of 2019 is Mitch McConnell. And I was kind of leaning towards either Donald Trump or Mitch McConnell. Either way, Mitch McConnell is worthy of this title. But there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel because Mitch McConnell is up for re-election. So he may be the scumbag of 2019, but he might not even be in the running in 2020 if he gets defeated. In fact, his defeat could potentially be the badass moment of 2020 if we all play our cards right. But, you know, long story short, Mitch McConnell is really the ultimate ghoul. He has done irreparable harm to the country. And really, we are going to suffer because of his legacy. Now, credit where it's due, he's effective, but effective doesn't necessarily mean that you are producing results that are good for the American people. In fact, He's hurting the American people. But those are my thoughts. Here's what you all said. Jason Counselor on Patreon provided us with a number of quotes. He says, The human turtle hybrid, Mr. Because I get to decide what we vote on, said this. Quote, I am indeed the grim reaper when it comes to the socialist agenda that they've been ginning up over in the House with overwhelming Democratic support and sending it over to America. Things that would turn us into a country we've never been. So this is full bore socialism on the march in the House. And yeah, as long as I am majority leader in the Senate, none of that stuff is going anywhere. I saved the Supreme Court for a generation by blocking President Obama's nominees and led the way for Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. On top of that, he also said, I love the tax bill and a lot of the other things we did, but I think lifetime appointments, not only to the Supreme Court, but to the circuit courts, are the way you have the longest lasting impact on the country. And he's right about that. Monica Range on Patreon writes, They're all bad as heck, but Mick Turtle has been terrorizing our democracy since Obama was elected, and he's done so much damage by not letting bills even come to the floor for a vote. Hundreds of them. He acts like a dictator. Despicable person. Sophia on Twitter says, They're all garbage. All of the above. Mitch, he's done the most long-term and substantial harm. Matt P on YouTube writes, Buttigieg, Bezos, and Pelosi should get a mention too. Also, Almagro, head of the OAS for enabling slash plotting the Bolivian coup. Fair enough. So there you have it. Mitch McConnell is our scumbag of 2019. Um, he certainly deserves this. So uh, congratulations, Mitch, I guess. <clears throat> Beta male.